Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the brand new all over body highlighter called Nymph by Huda Beauty. It comes in this unnecessary packaging yet again and this is what it looks like. It's quite big, it's 55ml and it retails at £40 in the UK. It comes in three shades and I bought the middle shade which is called Aphrodite. Now I've never bought an all over body highlighter before so I have nothing to actually compare it to in terms of actually trying it out. So. Um, this is all very new to me. Now, the reason that I bought Aphrodite is because it's described as being for tan and medium skin tones and it is apparently packed with rich gold pearls for a golden bronzed finish. So I bought it on that basis because I'm very warm toned, I've got very yellow undertones and when I tan in the sun I go bronzed and so I thought that this would technically be perfect for me. The one up from this which is for fair and light tones has a soft white gold, rose gold and silver pearls, not really for me. And then Aurora the deeper tone is a toasty copper shade with warm gold and bronze pearls. So for those people who've got deeper skin tones. Firstly the name is so cringy, like it's Nymph apparently stands for not your mama's pantyhose. Firstly, I'm in the UK, we don't call tights pantyhose, we call them stockings or tights. Pantyhose is a very Americanized term and a nymph is more like a kind of woodland fairy type of goddess. Not even a goddess, I don't think, so I just don't understand the correlation, but whatever. It's got a nice-ish scent to it, it's not the same scent as all her other products which have got that very heady perfumey scent. It smells... It's kind of got a hint of coconut maybe to it and something else but it's not overly offensive and I actually quite like it and it's not overpowering and the smell does not linger on your skin. I have used this on my face and on my body. Now apparently it blurs imperfections and adds a stunning sun-kissed tint to the skin. It's transfer sweat and water resistant water-based formula with light reflecting pearl pigments that give the most insanely smooth glossy finish. These are what the claims are and after I have tried it I have to say I think it works okay for the body but not so much for the face if you are my skin tone. Now I don't understand this has been described as being packed with rich gold pearls for golden bronzed finish. I don't look golden bronzed on my face when I put it on. I look like I've got a tinge of grey to my skin. Like it does give a very illuminating glow but the colour is just off. For reference, in Huda Beauty's foundation, I am in the shade Baklava, which is 340G. I'm right in the middle. I have nothing but warm undertones in my skin. So something which is described as this should have worked well for me, but it really didn't on my face, I have to say. Now, when I applied it to my arms and my legs, it definitely gave a hint of colour to them, which actually looked really nice and quite glowy. But as I don't have the brush that has been marketed with this product, I used my hands and it was streaky in places because it dries very, very quick, which is a pro and a con because you don't want something to take ages to dry. But also when you're using your hands and you're going like this, it dried like with a line and I couldn't really buff it out. So it was really annoying. Now in terms of it saying that it's transfer proof, it is and it isn't. Now I have to say that the way that this sticks to the skin is really, really nice. It's like a very light lotion, but obviously it doesn't come out loads so that you can control the amount of product that you use so you don't waste it. Now, it is a liquid product with all these pearls and things infused into it. I found, and I wore black trousers when I wore it, black cropped ones, and I applied it to the bottom of my legs. I went to the cinema, I crossed my legs, I sit like this, whatever. When I left, my trousers were all sparkling and covered in gold. However, my legs were still bronze because the actual liquid itself, which is coloured and pigmented, stays on the skin, but the little sparkly particles, because it's very glittery, come off and they attach themselves to whatever is around. My whole entire outfit was covered in very, very tiny, minute little particles of shimmer, and that's not what I want. However, I then went home, I went to bed, I woke up in the morning, I had a shower and I noticed in my white bathtub 
that the colour had turned slightly brown. So it does really stick to the skin and really stay on in terms of colour and pigment. But it's just the glittery stuff that transfers onto other things. So yes, it clearly is sweat resistant and it is also waterproof resistant because the only time when I noticed it did come off in the shower is after I scrubbed my skin. Otherwise, it was literally just gliding off. So you can take that as you want as a pro or as a con, but I'm just giving you the different versions of how I view this product. I would overall give this probably a 8 out of 10. The colour is just not right for my face. For you to apply all over your face as a highlight, if you are somebody who is my skin tone and you want to mix it with your foundation, it's going to make you look darker because that's what it did and it just didn't match then and then that would mean I would have to apply it all to my neck but then the one on my face is mixed with my foundation so that would be a different shade to that. The foundation is not transfer resistant even if this is. So meaning if I put foundation all down my neck with this mixed in so it matches my face, it will all just come off onto my clothes. So just bear that in mind that I think it's really great to use on the body, but maybe if you use it on the face, just to use it to highlight your cheekbones, because it's got more of a champagne shade to it, and I've not got champagne-y kind of undertone. Champagne has a little bit of coolness to it, and therefore it won't sit so well as an overall highlight on your face if you have those kinds of undertones. Anyway, so let's get started with the demo because I have places to go and people to see. I'm gonna be using the Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dampen it with my Fix Plus because what I find is because this foundation is so thick and full coverage, when I mix it with this, it becomes even more thick. This hasn't got a super runny texture. It's a creamy-ish texture. And that's the reason why it dries down so quickly as well. So if you wet your brush to apply it to your face, obviously I'm just doing this for the purposes of the demo. I will look darker, I'm warning you now. But generally, I would personally just probably apply it to my cheekbones. Okay, here it is with it mixed into my foundation. I only used one pump of foundation. As you can see, I now look like I should be perched on top of a palace because I've got that kind of very glowy, bronzy look. I didn't apply as much foundation as I normally do. I'm going to apply a little bit more because I think I applied more of the highlighter than the actual foundation and I need to go out in public, like I said, so I can't be glowing too hard, looking like I should be some sort of street entertainer. But if you can see, it really does give a nice glow to the skin. But if you were to look up close, you could definitely see it is very shimmery. But what I like about this is it definitely gives a nice amount of coverage, especially because I'm mixing it into a full coverage foundation. But can you see now, I just, I look darker. You can see that, right? So I'm going to use my powders and whatnot to make myself look a little bit lighter, as in to my natural skin colour. But overall, I actually do quite like this. I have, like I said, for the purposes of the video, just wanted to show you guys what it looks like on the face. If you're my skin tone, you can see I've now got a slight greyish tinge to my skin because this is not golden as this is just described. I don't know why it's described as golden. It's not. It's got a champagne colour to it. Like, there's not gold in it. I can see champagne -y, ivory sort of colour. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup now and then I will show you what it looks like once it's all complete. I'm going to use the Huda Beauty uh, Graham Cracker Concealer and then the Nabla Powder to finish it all off. Okay, now that most of the rest of my makeup is done, I've done my contour, I've done my powdering. As you can see now, I now don't look glowy, I just look darker. And the only thing that I can see now is that after putting on foundation and everything, powdering it down, which you have to do because at the end of the day, it's a glowy product. You will look shiny very, very quickly. So if you don't put powder on, it's going to move around and it's going to come off. Now, unfortunately, you can't tell that I've got anything on. You can see some of the golden sparkles, but that's about it. So it's a little bit pointless mixing it in with your entire foundation unless you've got a face like the Sahara, which never gets oily. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tiny little bit on my beauty blender and show you how much better it looks if you were to apply it like this on your cheekbones. It was probably not wise to do it where I had concealer. Stupid. <laughs> and now you can see that it applies like a normal liquid kind of highlight really. And just use my finger. 
it dries very very quickly so even on the face it's not blending out because it's got powder underneath and then just make sure that you blend it with your brush so that there's no obvious harsh lines it is definitely blended out with the finger because what's happening with the wetness of the beauty sponge it kind of bunches up because it's got powder underneath and when you put liquid on top of powder that is what can happen just gonna finish off my lips with some Huda Beauty products why not going to use Huda Beauty's girlfriend liquid lipstick with Shiro demi matte on top All right, so my makeup is all done now and I have done my best to try and lighten it as much as possible but unfortunately it's just not going to happen. I can quite clearly see that my face is darker than my neck and even if I was to then apply this on my neck it wouldn't match because of the added colour of the foundation. But in terms of how it applies to the face and everywhere else where I've highlighted, I think it looks really nice. I think champagne shades work well on most skin tones. But if you are deeper, it will look more ashy on you. I look like a bronze statue. Does that make sense? You know like those street entertainers that cover themselves in paint to look like a statue? I look like that. But what I'm going to quickly do is, I'm going to apply it to my hand and just place them both next to each other just so that you can see the colour difference. So here you can see with and without you can see that it does definitely add a good hint of color to my skin tone i haven't got a tan at the moment but my hands are darker than the rest of me like my face because when i drive it's always my hands that catch the uh sunlight but here you can see is how it would look if it was just used over your body not mixed in with any foundation it definitely gives a nice hint of color and it is very shimmery but like I've said this is transferable it does dry very fast which is good you haven't got time to wait around that sort of thing and it is definitely best applied with a brush I just used the same foundation brush if you apply it with your hands firstly it's going to go all over your hands and then you're going to have to wash your hands it and it also doesn't apply evenly the way that it does with a brush because it's drying as you're blending it out so that is my review of the Huda Beauty Nymph All Over Body Highlighter. I hope you guys enjoy this review. Let me know what your thoughts are, if you're interested in buying it or not. Personally, this is probably something I won't purchase again. It's just a bit too messy. I'd rather just lie in the sun for five minutes with SPF 50 and get a natural tan. For five minutes, that's it. Because I believe the best kind of tan can only be achieved with your natural skin tone and the natural elements of the sun. But I do also have to say that this does work well over SPF as well because as I, as far as I'm aware there isn't any in here. So that's just an FYI if you're planning to wear it on your body. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Bye.